What's going guys? Janus here and today I am bringing this guide to you guys on the AN AI element hero unit who is a soul weaver but alas she doesn't have a healing spell but still she is on a well soul weaver uh, class and she really does excel in support and yes she is one of the really amazing unit in the entire game you may ask why because like there are so many things that she can actually provide to you as a player uh, in your team like improving the damage and tankiness of your entire team or team attack buff plus reduce critical chance on the entire team that is pretty amazing as well very defensive stuff and div debuff cleanse plus barrier <laughs> wow that's sort of things that you can she can do with her skills and guess what guys she can also act as a tank and a support right off the bat okay so now we are gonna discuss like how are those things possible with her skills okay so let's get into the previous skills right away guys this is our DN okay this is right our DN and let's start with the first skill okay so the first skill sort of like looks like this it's just like a single target attack oh well her attack stat is very very low her base stat, uh, base attack is really really low but guys you really don't need to worry about it because obviously she is a soul weaver so she really doesn't need to excel on the damage output uh but anyways let's get this started with on the max skill enhance it will increase her combat readiness by 15 percent and the effect will be doubled if she is buffed wow isn't that amazing guys i mean she excels at buffing herself with the second and third skill which go back on back if she can actually get a really good speed boost okay and she can actually do it most of the time i mean like if you have to fight against dn in the pvp battle you will actually notice how fast dn really is even though her base speed stat is so 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 bad because of this thing right over here guys even her fastest skill actually provides her a very massive boost of combat readiness right away meaning if she is buffed she can get a total of like 15 percent 15 percent combat readiness right off the bat that is pretty impressive okay that's pretty good i really love this first skill guys i'm like this is very unique indeed okay now let's move on to the second skill guys this one right away it, it will cast the barrier on everyone for two turns right off the bat okay that's pretty good and it will also dispel like one debuff from everyone that is a very very good cleanse indeed okay so uh, the strength of the barrier really lies on her max HP meaning like uh, if you do not skill enhance it up, it will let's say 20% of your max HP will be uh, the one that will be created as the barrier, okay? But if you skill enhance it, and obviously there is a barrier, a barrier strength increase, and that will go up to like 30% of your max HP, alright? So 30% of your max HP will be acting as the barrier for the entire team. That is insane, okay? That's pretty good. And if she is really fast enough, guys, with her ultimate skill, she will be able to use this right away again and again, okay? So that is really good thing about her as well. She really excels on, excels on the combat readiness, making her a very, very efficient uh, support unit because, like, support units really do need a lot of speed and combat readiness, and she really does provide that with her own skills, okay? The only thing that we really need to uh, focus is on her speed stats, okay? That we can easily do. And her second skill really looks like this one guy it just looks too good just look at that the breath of orb is just you know like appeared right over there <laughs> okay she's actually a queen i guess now let's move on to the ultimate skill it actually is pretty amazing guys just look at that just look at that wow <laughs> oh my god that is just too awesome okay Really, really awesome skill indeed. Very nice animation right out there. And it really has a very cool effects as well. Just look at that, guys. It will increase the attack. I mean, it will give an attack buff to the entire team. Okay, that's a 50% increase in attack. And critical hit resistance by 50% as well. So it is going to really be a very defensive stuff. And it's a very unique buff indeed to your entire team. Not really a lot of like uh, heroes can pull this move off, okay? Reducing the critical hit resistance, okay? So, uh, especially in PvP battle, this can actually save you a lot of time. For all allies for three turns, yes, 
a total of three turns that's a lot of turns guys and as a five turn initially but if you skill enhance it up it will be like minus one turn cooldown and hey guys it just doesn't uh, like end up there if you soul burn this skill guys all skill cooldowns decreases as by two turns <laughs> oh my holy crap look at that guys just look at that it will affect like everything right off the bat guys so amazing skill indeed so really good uh, skill burn oh man and before increasing the cost of combat readiness by 50 percent now that is a key guys may like she is actually using her second skill first and then she uses her like third skill she will be able to cast her second skill asap okay or let's say she is using her like uh, s3 right off the bat right and she will be very 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 uh, you know like ready to use her second skill ASCP right after her third skill so that's pretty amazing guys that's just too good I mean, like these are the things that's really gonna help you to excel in the PvP uh, mode battles also in the PvE battles because like her combat and this stuff actually excels over and over again it really does complement every other skills out there and she can actually excel out to be a very very classical support class unit guys I'm mean, like she's a top tier unit in the in the PvP content guys in even in the PvE content she can actually provide you with a lot of you know, like uh, how to say like defensive supportive buffs guys so these are just two amazing guys for a support she is like a top ranker stuff so i really love her and she is pretty amazing okay if you are actually gonna ask about her like basic stats guys well you know like her attack is way 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 bad okay also it really doesn't matter and so does her speed as well though okay i'm mean, like speed is pretty bad as well so let's try to look into like this one if you really do not uh, you know like how to say like get what i'm actually saying let's try to see her previous stats right uh, right away so let's get this one right over here and you can see right over here that the speed is 103 guys i'm mean, like 100 freaking 103 holy crap that is so low okay so low 649 attack holy crap that is pretty bad okay but when it comes to like hp and defense that's pretty good pretty good and well she actually you know like how to say this like uh, powers up with her utility skills that's where she actually uh, hides her strength okay <laughs> so those are the thing guys and next thing that i would really love to tell you guys is that like she is a sort of like a limited summon banner stuff okay so if she actually pops out don't miss it guys because like you are not actually gonna get her through the normal covenant summon okay so if the banner pops out where you can actually get dn get her right away seas of ice element guys seas of ice element and ice element is still the meta in the epic 7 okay those are the things that you really need to keep in your mind okay so now let's move on like what sort of equipments can we actually give to dn okay we will get into her like overall performance and overall rating a little bit later but first of all guys let's see like what sort of equipment can we actually give to our beloved dn a very good queen indeed who has some like mystical powers that can actually do a really good sort of like you know like uh speed boost to the entire team okay so i would actually say that like you can go with the speed uh speed uh, speed set and the health set okay that is the only thing that you can actually go with that one health set why because obviously she excels on uh, providing that barrier that is like 30 percent of her max health right so higher the health she has the the stronger her barrier is actually gonna be costed out to the uh, everyone allies right and thing is that like speed is gonna be a very important factor indeed because like even though like she has a lot of combat readiness stuff going on with her skills but hey guys in pvp battles she should be the one to be able to cast it on the very first time i mean like in the very first turn okay so speed boost is gonna be a very 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 important priority for our dn and once she has a really good very very good speed like let's say over 200 stat then that is gonna be a game changer guys she's actually gonna be a very irritating opponent against the enemies and she's gonna be a very good ally to your entire team okay so again speed set 
plus the health set okay and now let's talk about the primary stats okay so when you are talking on the boots obviously it comes the speed stat boost as the primary stat all right so when you are talking about the ring go with the hp percentage boost all right and when you are talking about the necklace go with the hp percentage boost again again all right <laughs> okay now when you are actually gonna talk about like substats okay when you are actually gonna talk about the substats guys you really need to focus on like speed stat boost okay or uh, hp person this boost or health person this boost defense person this boost and finally that would be some like effect resistance stuff like that that's gonna be actually be helpful on her as well okay so those are the things that you really need to keep on her but basically three substats are gonna be the main uh, substats that you really need to focus is that speed boost sp percentage boost or health percentage boost and the defense percentage boost okay these are the thing the three substats that you really need to focus on and c is gonna be a bomb guys c is gonna be a bomb okay and now let's move on to like what sort of artifact can we actually give to our beloved dn okay so let's get into the artifact section and uh, let's get into the uh, soul weaver and right over here guys rod of Amirias is gonna be a very good artifact for her indeed because like she really lacks a healing spell and with this artifact she will be able to uh, become like a healer because like as it says right over here heals the ally with the lowest health by 24 percent after using a non-attack skill she has two non-attack skills guys that is the second skill and the third skill and two uh healed by 24 percent is really 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 great guys 24 percent of the max health oh my god that's amazing that's a very good uh, healing spell with her too okay so rod of memory lance is gonna be a very very good very very good uh you know like artifact indeed obviously the next one would be the unfading memories okay a very good artifact indeed what it does that like it will heal all allies not just one but everyone every freaking one after using an attack skill so whenever she's using her second skill and her third skill or let's say the ultimate skill she is actually gonna heal all allies by eight percent of the max hp so that is insane that is pretty amazing i would really love to have this artifact on my uh disposal okay and finally the another artifact that i would really love to suggest to you guys is the celestine okay it heals the ally with the lowest health by 16 percent when using a basic skill so whenever she is using the basic skill uh i mean like uh, she is gonna heal the health of the low i mean like you know uh, the unit with the lowest health by 16 percent which i think is gonna be a very like uh, ineffective because like she is so good at spamming her second skill and third skill that her first skill is not sort of stuff that you will be spamming most of the time so celestine will be at the last rank among all the other artifacts uh the first rank i would actually go and give is to the rod of Amirales. okay so this is gonna be really really good because like most of the time uh, the opponents really tend to focus on one of your target so if you can actually just uh, heal him up right up to the max health or let's say a very good health boost then that would be really really amazing that's what i prefer but if you are actually preferring out for a very aoe type of like healing then this could get yeah, this could be actually really good as well that it's unfading memories okay so keep that in mind guys and now if we are actually going to like you know like discuss about like if the end is really really good or not okay so uh, let's say that like guys dn is really really a badass unit guys she is so 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 amazing okay now we are gonna discuss like why okay so let's get into the soul viewer we have the dn right over here and now let's talk about it guys okay 
See, it's gonna be so, so amazing and like, let's say, abyss, okay? So it's gonna be a bomb in abyss, guys. It's gonna help you a ton, okay? So it's gonna be a very good unit even for the boss hunt. So it's gonna be a really amazing unit for raids, okay? And even in the world, okay, so it's gonna help you a lot. And even in arena, so it's gonna be a top contender unit as well. Because like, so it's gonna be a very irritating unit, okay? If you see, if C manages to get a very good speed boost stat, uh, <laughs> with the help of gears, C can prove to be a very ultimate, uh, you know, like sort of like support unit in the uh, arena as well. Okay, uh, many people might actually say that like C might not actually be that competitive in the arena because of her very low base speed. Okay, that can actually be a very huge penalty for her. But guys, I mean, like if you can build her up, skill up with a very magnificent set of gears that has like very lucky stats on speed. C is gonna be a big big charm on your team okay so that's what you are actually gonna see with dn that is the power of dn guys C is too good C is really really good C is nearly like a all-around unit that can actually excel in any department okay so this is good uh these are the things that makes her really really versatile that she can pretty much become like compatible in every part of the game okay she's almost viable everywhere okay and all you need to do is in the name of the like healing spell you need to give her the celestine or rod of amarillas and that's actually gonna make her a very good healer as well okay and the another artifact that i actually just mentioned a little, a little while earlier okay <laughs> like she is also a very great camper in the raid as well because like most of her uh, stuff that actually uh, pumps out actually gives you a lot of like friendship boost okay giving the bonus points so i mean like for in labyrinth stuff like that this is gonna be a really great addition to your team as well okay her third skill gives like 50 percent combat readiness and if she is fast enough she can cast second skill back to back that's what it is as it has been said on my data guide okay so she is pretty amazing guys okay so uh, this is pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contest of my channel If you manage to like get this summon banner of DN, please do pull her up Okay, she is really really meant to be pulled out and see you guys in the next video